What's up guys and welcome back to Software and Audio Solutions and today we're talking about the Cycle Frontier and yes ladies and gentlemen it's a brand new game it's got some mixed reviews yes but it is a really really good game. You guys are going to love this if you've never played it before if you are busy playing it right now and you're busy watching my video right now for an FPS boost guide ladies and gentlemen this game is absolutely amazing it's absolutely insane. Now I'm going to go over some windows tips and tricks that you can do to get better FPS out of this game and then I'm going to jump straight into the game and show you what settings you're going to be using to get the best FPS out of this game so you can have a great experience playing this game like me at this very moment because a lot of people are actually having problems with FPS and they're also having problems with the game crashing to the desktop. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do to make it not crash and to get better FPS out of your game. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and type in settings, just like this, and then press enter, and you're going to go to update and security. The first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that your Windows is up to date. I highly recommend that you go ahead and do so. Make sure your Windows is up to date. Mine did an update this morning that I went to go and install, and it had to restart my computer because Windows has the latest updates right now at this very moment. If you haven't done that yet, go ahead and do so. You're going to click on the home button, you're going to go to privacy, you're going to scroll all the way down, and you're going to go to background apps. Now you might have all of these things on over here, I highly recommend you turn them all off while playing this game, or just in general turn it off if you do not need this, or you don't use any of these things at the moment, or switch them off individually. I just switch it off completely, and I don't use them at all. Next step you're going to need to do is go to gaming over here, and you're going to go to game mode, and I highly recommend you turn this off. Do not have it on, it does not help for this game at all. If your machine, you might be one of the lucky people, if you switch this on and you you go and run your game, you get more FPS, good for you. But I highly recommend switching this off, right? Once you're done with that, you're going to go back to the home button, you're going to go to personalize, and you're going to go to colors over here. I highly recommend changing it from light. I'm not going to flashbang you guys, so I'm not going to change it to light. Go from light to dark, transparency effect, turn it off, and choose a dark color for your windows it actually speeds up your windows by a little bit and it actually makes the game much much better to be honest with you it makes your machine better makes the game run much better right once you're done with that you're going to close out of this you're going to go to the search button over here and you're going to type in graphic settings at the bottom here mine's up here so just graphic settings and you're going to go to browse over here and you're going to go to this game itself so steam then steam apps then common then just click anywhere and press t to go and find the game Click inside here, go to Prospect over here, go to Binaries, go to Win64, and then the first one over here, you're going to say Add. Once it's added, I've already added mine over here. You click on this, go to Options, and go to High Performance, and let it select your graphics card that you're going to be running. Once you're done with that, you're going to Save, and you're going to close out of this. The next step you're going to need to do is you're going to right-click on your desktop, and you're going to go to the NVIDIA Control Panel. This is for NVIDIA users only, and I do highly recommend that you go ahead and do this to make the game even look much much better than what it already does look like so i highly recommend you go ahead and do this so adjust desktop color settings go to image 3 and then change this down and just look what it does to your screen obviously right so my sweet spot for this is 85 i leave it here and this is for all your games not just this game it's for all your games my sweet spot is 85 you'll find your sweet spot don't worry just play around with it and then just say apply once you're done with that, you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview over here, the very first one. I highly recommend putting it on use the advanced image 3D settings. If not, I do recommend going to use my preference and then go from quality to balance or performance depending on the machine that you are currently running. Right. So if you're running a low end gaming PC or a mid tier gaming PC, put it on balanced or performance. One of these two balance or performance and you should be good to go Just say apply out to that and you should be good to go. Mine over here like this is good with my 2060 and my 9700K with 16 gigs of RAM. I'm good to go like that. Right, so once you're done here, you're going to manage 3D settings, you're going to go over here, and you're going to go to program settings, and it's going to load up your games that you have on your machine, and the programs that you have on your machine. Now, we are going to go and find the game itself, and we're going to tweak some settings, and just follow my guidelines, and you should be good to go. You're going to click on add over here, and a box is going to appear like this, and you're going to go to browse like this, go to Steam apps, go to common, and you're going to press T, you're going to go to the game itself, you're going to prospect again, go to binaries, win64, and you're going to select the game itself. All right. once you're done over here, you're going to go to anti-analyzing mode, this one over here, you're going to switch off, you're going to scroll a little bit down, where it says CUDA GPUs, you are going to select your graphics card that you're currently running, your NVIDIA graphics card, say OK, 
and then go a little bit down as well go a little bit down and with this open gl rendering you're going to select your graphics card that you're currently running i highly recommend you go ahead and do this please go ahead and do this once you're done with that you are going to go to texture filter quality click on this now this depends on the graphics card that you have cpu that you have and ram that you have right if you've got a low-end gaming pc or low-end gaming laptop or low-end in general machine i highly recommend putting on high performance if you've got a mid-tier gaming laptop or a mid-tier gaming machine put it on performance or quality right you should be good to go with these settings um if you have like a 20 series and upwards and AMD like in that general genre of graphics cards and CPUs like, you know, 9th, 10th, whatever the hell, um, you should be good to go. Um, so just leave it on quality and you should be good to go. But like I said, if you have an older generation machine, put it on performance or high performance and you should be good to go. All right. This one over here where it says V-Sync, you're going to turn this off completely and to say off completely like that. Once you're done with that, you're going to say apply to these settings and you're going to go to config surround and physics. You're going to click on this one over here. Do not select, select auto select, select your graphics card that you're currently running and then say apply. Once you're done with that, it's going to apply these settings for you. And then once you're done with that, you're going to close out of this. And then we are going to jump straight into the game. And then I'm going to show you the settings that you're going to be using to get the best FPS. And I'm going to show you the FPS that I'm doing in the top left corner with my MSI Afterburner. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in the game right now. And I'm doing about 126, 127 as a max FPS, maybe 128 as a max FPS. I do want to show you guys my FPS that I'm doing and then the CPU degrees and usage and then the gpu degrees and usage while i'm just standing here all right so the first thing you're going to need to do is press escape and then go to settings and then go to video i do highly recommend just going to game as well and then this one over here um put it on off if it is on on i know a lot of people um, might have the older version of this game my version is the 4.27-1352678 that's the version i have right now which is the latest version all right, so just keep this on off the rest. You can all have on, on, but it's your own personal preference, this settings over here. Video, this one over here, select a rendering device. I highly recommend selecting your graphics card that you're currently running. If you're running an AMD graphics card and a video graphics card, whatever graphics card you're running and it's a dedicated graphics card, go ahead and select it. Do not select Microsoft Basic Render Driver. Don't do that. Don't do default. Select your graphics card. I do highly recommend playing this game at full screen mode. It's highly recommended to do so because you get less input latency inside the game. But if you are losing FPS, I do then suggest you go change it to window or windowed full screen or windowed mode. One of these two over here. I just keep mine on full screen and I'm good to go. All right. Resolution depends on the monitor that you're currently running. So if you're running a laptop display, a gaming monitor, whatever the case might be, just put it on its highest and then check it out. If you are losing FPS and you see your game stuttering or whatever the case might be, you can drop down the resolution of the game itself. All right. DLSS, I put mine on ultra performance. If you do not have NVIDIA DLSS and you don't have a, the latest, you know, uh, NVIDIA graphics card, so you don't have a, uh, you don't have a NVIDIA graphics card, then don't worry about it. There's other things that you can change inside the game to get better FPS. All right. Image sharpening, I do highly recommend you play around with this and go ahead and play around with this. I put mine on one. It makes me see things a little bit better inside the game, especially when it's at night, because when it turns dark, it's really hard to see. Um, this one over here, you're going to put on unlimited, so max FPS unlimited. Uh, field of view is your own personal preference. I like mine at 100. Um, I can actually see more of my surroundings. Uh, gamma, you're going to put on 2.2. It's the same as actually Warzone. I leave mine on 2.2 on Call of Duty in general. Um, colorblind type, you can actually change this to whatever the hell you want it to be. I'll just leave mine on off. Uh, this one you can put on one, and then this you're going to put on off, obviously. Auto detect. Do not let it auto detect your machine. Please don't let it auto detect your machine. Um, I put mine on auto detect when I just launched the game, and I put everything on epic. Um, and uh, I was doing about, I think, maybe 72 FPS, and that was quite bad because when I started running around, it was dropping to like 60 there on which is quite bad so leave this on off you go to video quality custom and then you're going to start changing things draw distance i highly recommend putting this on low do not push it up you're going to lose fps shadow quality you don't really need to see shadows at all trust me you don't leave this at low post processing quality you can put this at low or on medium this is post processing quality ladies and gentlemen all right 
So I leave my texture quality on high, not on epic. Just put it on high. The game looks absolutely fine on high. If you're still losing FPS, then I do recommend putting it on medium, but high is good to go. Do not put it on epic. You can if you want to. If your machine can run it on epic, you're good to go. But I highly recommend putting it on high. Visual effects quality, low. Foliage quality, low. All of these things over here, you are going to put off. Leave it off and then just press escape and then you should be good to go with FPS, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new here, and I'll be uploading videos on this game on a regular basis to keep you guys up to date on the FPS and to make the game run better for every single one out there. As always, peace out.